Are you available to your own healing? Are you blocking your own healing? Are you available and being vulnerable with yourself? It's not a conscious thing to literally like legitimately block the healing. We're not going, yes, I don't want to heal. So don't you dare help me with that. And I won't do the things that are needed. I don't, I'm going to refuse everything, every help, every, I'm going to sit there. But, but there's parts of us that get locked in fear of vulnerability. And if you are not 100% in the game, right? If you're not 100% participating in your own healing, then there's blocks that happen that make it so that, that those parts can't find the light, right? They stay stuck in the groove and they stay stuck in sadness or they stay stuck in bits and pieces of the triggers, right? And so what we do, so what is vulnerability? Let's just start there. It's pretty much what it is. It's being open to the actual truth of the situation. And that means sometimes seeing parts of yourself that you don't necessarily want to see or seeing parts of yourself that are scary. And I don't mean the negative parts, because guess what? Most of us are pretty darn good at seeing the things we do wrong and seeing the things we feel are wrong with us. Or so you you might think to yourself, well, yeah, I'm totally able to see all the parts that are mine to fix. Well, maybe not all, but you know what I mean? Like I'm totally willing to see these parts, but what about your good parts? What about the parts of yourself that are free from all of it. Are you willing to see those parts? That's where it gets scary because that requires allowing yourself to be something that you have been told you're not. It requires allowing yourself to be the light that you truly are. Mm -hmm. And when you've had people tell you that that's not true and that you're wrong and that you're, you know, so it requires stepping outside the programming of your head to be able to be open to that. And vulnerability. (laughs) I know for myself that the vulnerability came the most when I saw that I needed to get out of my head, that I think my way through healing and that I think my way, you know, I understand it. I can talk about it, obviously, right? I come on here and talk about it. Give me a topic. I don't need notes, right? Like it's like that. So it's in it's when i realized that it's not through my head that i'm going to find this peace and connection with my true self it is not through my mind and it is not through my thinking because my mind and my thinking that's not their job and letting go of that is an interesting exercise in vulnerability <laughs> okay that's what i'm getting a lot of this is finding self comes in releasing judgment. Judgment is a, is a mind response to something that's happened so that it thinks it's trying, your mind is thinking when it's judging things about yourself. So say you were disappointed in breaking no contact and going back to a narcissist. Or you're disappointed in the sadness that you feel right now and not wanting, or you're whatever, disappointed is one word, you can fill in the blank, right? Well, whatever word that works for you. If you're going at it from your mind, you're not being vulnerable to yourself because you're missing the whole experience. The truth is in everything, okay? The truth is in your body's reaction to it. It's in your emotional reaction to it. And it's in the thoughts that you're having about it. And then there's one piece missing. It's in your awareness of self, of you being there for yourself. So as a coach... We offer, like I I try to offer a a mirror of that awareness. So if someone is saying I'm sad, I can say I can feel that. Where is it in your body? You know, I can coach them through the experience so that there is a deeper awareness of self. Why? Why do that? Okay, now I feel worse. Okay, now my stomach hurts because I'm thinking about my stomach hurting. And now my mind can't stop thinking and my emotions are, it's more intense. Yes, it's more intense for a second. But what if you spoke kindly to those parts? What if you then took that vulnerability and exposure of all of this going on and all of this pain and all of this struggle? And what if you did it differently? What if instead of judgment, you use kindness? 
towards yourself, towards your body, towards your, you know, you can use breathing just to be kind to your body. Okay, I'll breathe into those places that are uncomfortable. And I will tell my emotions exactly what they what they're craving hearing. So we're we're craving this validation and we're craving this someone to relate to in this experience, right? Like we're not we're not wanting we're wanting the validation, yes, but we're wanting the, the relatability, right? So why not relate to yourself? And why not tell your emotions? Yeah, you're right. That does hurt. It is super sad right now, like Demi, you know, like it is super sad right now. Yeah. And I feel that in my body. Oh, poor heart. Look what's happening. And then be like, oh, okay, so some breath to the heart, some love to yourself. And by love to yourself, it's not a thought, you guys. You don't love a beautiful sunset with a thought. You love it with ex the experience of witnessing it. So what if you witnessed yourself and saw and had some compassion that you have for everybody else in the world towards yourself? Would that not be a different kind of vulnerability is my question.